I'm Brad Perry. And I'm Lexi Romano. Arizona has so much to offer and so much to see. Whether you've lived here all your life or just moved to town, here are some cool things to check out. It's our Talk of the Town segment, and today we're traveling to Mesa, Arizona. Wow, all right. In the heart of this huge city is downtown Mesa, a dynamic community center that welcomes families, entrepreneurs, and foodies. Feasting on national recognized local cuisine or drinking a perfect brew. Easily accessible by light rail and its center is the Mesa Art Center. Various museums and the historical Now Theater built in 1924 and it still plays host to concerts as well as a 100% vegan coffee shop and cafe. Ooh, very cool. The Arizona Museum of Natural History is a one of a kind experience in the greater Phoenix area. It has exhibits of the natural and cultural history of the Southwest. It has over 60,000 objects of prehistoric fossils, anthropology, art, and over 10,000 historic photographs. Even a three-story indoor waterfall with animatronic dinosaurs. Wow, all right. Hey, the Mesa, Arizona Temple, built in 1927, was the first temple built in Arizona. Its massive structure dominated Mesa's skyline for decades. The temple grounds are home to beautiful gardens as well as two reflection pools. Visitors from all over the world come to this site for its beauty and religious significance. Mm, okay. Golfland Sunsplash is one of Arizona's premier family fun destinations, featuring over 30 exciting rides and attractions. Video games, water slides, miniature golf, and more. The park has something for the whole family. Not to mention, it was featured in the 80s classic Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Radical Dude. <laughs> hey, since the 1960s, Mesa's Community College has been part of the fabric of the city of Mesa. Today, over 16,000 students are working towards associate degrees, certificates, or transferring to a four-year university and just taking personal classes. The campus also is home to the planetarium and a national recognized rose garden featuring thousands of rose bushes and several hundred varieties to enjoy. Hmm, love it. Sloan Park, which opened in 2014, is the spring training home of Major League Baseball's Chicago Cubs, which draws sold out crowds each Cactus League season. When the Chicago Cubs hang up their cleats, Sloan Park is a host to a number of concerts, sports tournaments, theater events, and festivals throughout the year. I like that. Falcon Field is a general aviation airport that was first built as a military airport during World War II to train American and British Air Force pilots. Today, it's home to businesses and recreational aircraft, as well as flight training schools. Some of the World War II hangars are still in operation today, one which is home to the Air Force Museum, one of the largest in the world, with aircraft from all eras, including one of the last remaining B-17 bombers in the world that still flies. Oh, so cool. And I will say really quickly that I did fly in one of those World War II planes when I first moved here to town, so very cool. Thank you, Mesa, for being this week's Talk of the Town.